My DIY EV has a manual gearbox, which usually works great. Right now, it has a bowl of porridge. <laughs> I set up for the shops the other day, went to change gear and burr. I try and locate a gear now. Nothing's going in, it just, I can just about get it into second, but that's about it. Something's gone wrong with the gear linkage. Now problems with the gear linkage in this car are not a complete surprise because this is absolutely bodged. Again, full disclosure, um, when I was making the engine mounts for the bigger motor, I got my measurements slightly wrong, which meant I ended up shortening the gear linkage, the standard BMW gear linkage, so that the gearbox would fit and everything would fit properly. Um, yes, that's an absolute bodge. What I should have done is remake the engine mounts, but um, as long time watchers will know, um, I didn't really have an awful lot of time towards the end uh, of uh, my time in my garage which I miss, um, and so I didn't get a chance to do that, which is one of the things I intended to do. So, um, need to get this car up on jack stands and work out what on earth is going on under there. Well, as fixes go, this one should be pretty straightforward. <laughs> you see that pin there, it's come out. This is my utterly bodged <laughs> mechanism, which isn't, which just a bit of flex in it. It's not ideal. But yeah, somehow that pin's come out, and I don't know how. Huh. Won't quite go back in. I say, oh no, no, no. So it should lock, unless I put it in back to front. Oh, uh, maybe I've put it in back to front. <laughs> Should be why it wouldn't lock. Oh no, no, it should lock that way as well. There we go. Across. And no. Oh. Come on, you little sod. I mean, it does only lock one way. Hmm. So rain has stopped play. It's gone from beautiful blue sky while I was fixing my wife's car to raining the minute I try and fix mine, <laughs> which is predictable. But we have gears again. One, two, three, four, five, and reverse. Bit clunky, but much more positive mechanism. This is something I need to sort out at some point. I need to redo the uh, mounting and get a nice smooth gear shift, but it is usable again. And if it happens again, I know what the issue is. Shouldn't happen again, but I couldn't quite get it to snap all the way in. Definitely need a new gear shift knob though. This one is absolutely balked. Maybe something for the lathe, maybe something to buy from AliExpress, we shall see. Now I did have an ulterior motive for getting the car up on jack stands. Um, I'll see if I can replicate it now. Um, I've solved the uh, nasty noise from the front corner by just um, sticking two fingers in and uh, bending the uh, back plate back. But there's still a sort of clicking, clunking sound that is in time with motion only get it on um well it's certainly a lot louder on freewheel than it is on drive um which suggests it may be the coupler but i'm not entirely sure um so when it stops raining again um i'll see if i can find somebody to uh turn the engine over while i have a bit of a listen underneath i don't want to get too close to the spinning prop shaft obviously um but yeah see if we can diagnose that as well we have a new problem. The roof has split rather badly. I will get a partial cover on that, but it's not going to stop the water coming in and it is absolutely soaking back here. That's new, never used to be like that. 
Don't know whether that's new roof or get it repaired, but that's going to need doing urgently. Oh, oh joy. <laughs> Just spoke to two different companies about fixing the roof. One said we can fix it, but it might be a bit of a bodge, but they'll have a look. The other one said we don't even try. Um, they're all, the stitching's probably rotten. A fix would only be temporary uh, and you're better off replacing it. Cost of that? One said a thousand pounds, one said 900 pounds plus fat. So a grand basically, either way. Thousand pounds for a new roof. That is not money I was planning to spend. Arse. <laughs> so, be very honest about my failures. It seems like I actually missed one of these bolts when I was uh, talking up these things. Ideally, you'd talk on the nut rather than the bolt, but you can't get to it very easily. It's an absolute pain in the bum, even this way around, because this, um, the, you can't get a, um, a torque wrench on here very easily. You have to use a, a, an angled thing, and it always slips. You can see the, the corner of these bolts are a little bit rounder where it's slipped. But yeah, all done up tight now, so I'm hoping no more knocking noise. Fingers crossed. We won't know till we drive it, really. So I don't know how well this will translate, but... No more knocking noise. Sorted. That'll do for this video. The sun's out, which is good given that I've got a dirty great hole in my roof. Uh, I think I'm probably going to have to suck up the cost and get that fixed this week, but it does mean I'll have a nice shiny new roof, which I was always going to do at some point. I was just going to get all the bodywork done first so I didn't make a mess of the nice roof. But can't be avoided if I'm going to daily this for the winter. Um, you can put a cover on it overnight, but you can't uh, put a cover on it while you're driving it. So yeah, I have to get that sorted. Um, we have, what have we done? Sorted out that annoying knocking noise, which turned out to be idiocy on my part. Uh, and what else was it up on Jack's tons? I've forgotten. <laughs> oh yeah, the gearbox. Sorted out the gearbox linkage, so we have Nice crisp gears again. Nice, all drivable. So, down to the jack stands, get it charged up, take it for a drive sometime soon. See you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh, yeah, and like and subscribe.